So today we're going to look at the linebacker that's probably going to take C.J. Mosley's position. Uh, he's affectionately long, known to us as Peanut. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name a bunch of times, or maybe even once, because I don't want to butcher it. I don't um, want anyone butchering my name, and it's simple. So I'm not going to do him the disservice of constantly mispronouncing his last name until I'm sure of how to say it. So, you know, by week one, when you have those 12 to 15 tackles, I know how to pronounce it and bring that film to you. But, you know, if everybody's in agreement with me, we all know him as Peanut. Uh, first name, Patrick. Let's begin. So basically, I have five good plays from, from Peanut from the Chargers game. And we're going to break them down and, you know, just talk a little bit about the guy that's uh, probably our starting middle linebacker now. We're going to spot shot him here so we can see where he is. Got to spot shot up next to CJ Mosley. In this clip, he just made a closing tackle. You saw the, the tight end whatever fail. I don't know if it was on purpose or not. But he dropped in his zone and diagnosed the play and went and made it. Oh, no, he didn't call. Terrell Hook shoved him. Pino diagnosed him running in his zone, closed and made a good tackle. See it coming. Break on it. Make the tackle. Good clean tackle. Solo tackle. So a minimal gain at that, especially in the zone. Underneath the routes, you can't really do anything about it. So here he is. Um, you know, we did this a lot against the Chargers this game. Put everybody on the line and... You know, they had to guess who was coming and who was not. We dropped guys out, sent guys, and, you know, different things of that nature. And played a one high, a man free. But here's Peanut in the line of scrimmage. And, you know, the way it's set up, he's probably going to be taken on by a running back. In this game, you know, Peanut did, did a really good number on the Chargers running back. Straight bull rush to the running back. The running back steps in for pass pro. Sack. Looks even better from, this, from the back end. He's going to get his chin up under the, the running back. And in football, always the low man win. Watch out, Peanut becomes the low man right here. All right there. Got his hands up on him. Finna get leverage and I can press him out the way. Look at that. That's textbook right there. Textbook. Textbook. You got guys coming off the edge. With, with Peanut coming up the middle, uh, I can't tell who this is coming up the middle. Nowhere for Rivers, Rivers to go. It's it's always good to have different moves and not just do the same thing when you um when you, when you rush. So now you get that same type of look, but this time it's gonna be a little different. Spot shadow right here. He's gonna drop out in coverage. And this is the one thing I think he does a lot better than Mosley. I think he'll be able to cover some guys, you know, if he gets in a situation where he has to cover a tight end or maybe a running back. Drop right out. Sure tackle. Don't miss tackles. I haven't seen him miss very many tackles, even though he missed some. He, but in this game, he didn't miss very many. This was probably one of his best games, if not his best game of the year. In the same look, you drop out. And let me tell you what I think about zone coverage. There are these big circles, and people think you have to cover that circle. Zone coverage is still man. When that man comes in your, your area, you got to pick him up. So don't just, you know, just because he's on the edge of your zone, don't let him stand there. Once he steps in the zone that you have, he's your guy. Pick him up. Take him. This is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. So again, got that same type of look. We all in the box. This time's gonna be a little different. He's gonna get skinny and get this sack. Again, it's on the Chargers running back. It's complete width. And you'll see what I mean by get skinny when, they, when you see the back view. In the line of scrimmage. And watch, he's gonna come right through here and Gordon's gonna try to block him. He's basically gonna turn almost sideways, get his shoulder past Gordon, then explode to the quarterback. Mm, 
There it is. Just in case you missed it, let's run it back. Come through. Go ahead and try to step up. Turn that right shoulder past him and almost kind of bump the, the guard. Go ahead and straight whiffs. Not exposed to the quarterback. So he basically almost untouched. Almost untouched. That's a good job adjusting, you know, what you want to do in your blitz and giving a different look. Because Gordon is probably anchoring down for this bull rush that he got, you know, a couple quarters ago. Hanging down, anchoring down, not feeding concrete, not just go around. Good job. I think this is the last play. And, um, you know, I forgot to put this at the front of the video. But Peanuts game is all about effort. And you see him right there in the middle. It's all about effort. Drop in the coverage. You know, the ball really doesn't even come your way. Just keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Punch it out. Now we get a touchdown. And what I got up here playing through the wheels, he's just not giving up on the play. Big effort play. Huge effort play. And this, I think this kind of seals the game. This game right here. So Gates is, where is Gates? Gates going to come out. Go out of peanut zone. Catch, get a good catch. Peanut sees the opportunity to punch it. He just takes his fist and knocks the ball out. That simple. And will we get this this type of two sack force from a game from Peanut all the time? No, I don't think so. But I think we'll get enough of it not to to feel like you know we should have kept CJ Mosley, especially at the price that the Jets paid for him. And this was just five good plays from Peanut. And again, like I said, I don't want to butcher his last name, so that's why you didn't hear me say it. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you um. Get the Ravens Roundup merch, and um, I'll see you guys later on today. With the, with the